I will be ranting on that center pet of episode from SpongeBob SquarePants. Enjoy. Let me tell you reasons why this episode sucks. The episode lazily takes elements from both a pal for Gary from the seventh season and I want a team as Gary from the first season. This is made even more lazy considered the fact that a pal for Gary was a season ago. It is also nothing more than another torture episode for Gary. Patrick is at his absolute worst in this episode, as his flamborization has gone too far, even when he drops Gary on the ground, causing the ladder to splat. He ignores SpongeBob's instructions whilst the ladder is away at his grandma's birthday party. The most infamous example is the part where Patrick shows Gary a flamethrower that spews out actual fire. Yes. He intends to trick Gary into getting into the bath, but it's still grueling, idiotic to use a freaking flamethrower out of all things. It should be worth noting that, while in previous seasons, 1 to 3, Patrick did have moments like this, but those were never this extreme. He forgets to feed Gary his food causing Gary to starve, and eats said food in front of Gary. He sprays Gary water with a fire hose, and while that's happening Gary is booty. There's a random moment, after Patrick gave Gary a bath where a can falls on Gary's stomach, as if poor Gary wasn't tortured or enough. He initially intended to dry Gary off with salt, something that kills snails upon contact. When that plan fails, Patrick painfully dries Gary with a hairdryer, causing the latter to shrivel up. The episode actually tries to portray all of this as funny. But tormenting someone in the ways Patrick does to Gary isn't funny at all, in any way, shape, or form. It is also predictable, as it is easy to tell that Patrick is going to screw up due to his exaggerated stupidity. Even the humor is predictable, notably when Patrick opens Gary's snail food, and you can easily tell that he is going to eat all of it, and it falls flat as a result. Despite having been treated horribly by Patrick throughout the episode, at least from that perspective, Gary makes up with him for some reason and is even shown reading him a bedtime story when he is asleep. It was a quite contrived and a mediocre way of trying to pretend this all didn't happen just to end the episode. Much like Rule of Dumb and yours, mine and mine previously. Patrick gets a scot free and faces no consequences for his actions against Gary. At the end of the episode, once SpongeBob returns to his pineapple, he doesn't seem to question the fact that the house looks like it had flooded earlier and that around half of it is in ruins. That's all I have to say. Bye for now.